Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Everything around us is from Muhammadan light. There's all this teaching they keep trying to repeat and repeat and repeat. Allah understanding is in La ilaha illallah and you can never reach that. It's not an ocean that is for anything from creation to enter. Its understanding can only be understood through the reflection called Muhammadun Rasulullah So everything created is not created in La ilaha illallah, that's why Allah says, La ilaha illallah, La don't look here, nothing is with me. Allah the Creator created creation in an ocean of creation in which Allah is not in that ocean because Allah not created. You make a computer, you're not in the computer, you unplug it anytime you want. Everything is in Muhammadun Rasulullah every atom. So this only makes more sense from Malakut when you think of light. Every, every light is the source of all form. Means the atomic reality is the source of how this form is manifesting. So that Malakut is all under Muhammadun Rasulullah Every atom and every wall in your home, on the couch, everything animate, inanimate object has atoms within it. Each atom Adam is under Muhammadun Rasulullah And Haqiqat al-Muhammadiyya is inside that atom. Its source of power is from that reality. So then imagine then the greatness of dhikrullah. When you go for your salah it's for your own benefit. Allah knows what type of reality is open for your salah. But as soon as you mention Allah dhikr of Allah and we said before the highest dhikr of Allah is when you say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad durud al-Sharif. It's praising Allah showing Allah that I understood that your hidden treasure wanting to be known and you are being known through Muhammadun Rasulullah wasallam, the perfected reflection of the Divinely Presence. As soon as you make the zikr and salawats, every atom in your room around you, every molecular and atomic structure around you is now activated in that zikr because its core reality is Muhammadun Rasulullah All its angels and angelic reality, all its core reality, as soon as you make zikr these atoms are activated. And its reality of Bahr Qudra because there's a, a reality of the ocean of power that is above us and we are merely its reflection on this earth. But as soon as you make zikr all these atoms are being activated, moving, moving like a key that unlocked its reality. Not by your salah, not by your zakah, nothing that you do, your hajj, not your shahada, nothing going to activate that reality. But as soon as you make the zikr of Allah it's free from ego and nafs, it's activated by that zikr. It's excited by that zikr, it is now flowing within the zikr. And you'll see that all the energy within the room is moving, moving, moving. Some energies are so strong in their movement, later on come back and you see the pictures in your home moved. Because 
it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. The earth is moving how many hundred thousand, three hundred thousand kilometers per, per second? The earth is spinning its rotation. Had it not spinned you would have floated away. Its spin is what keeping everything and spinning so fast that you can have a comfortable life on this earth. Just imagine then these atoms when they're activated by these zikrs and these salawats, what type of energies are now coming? And that's the power, that's the power of dhikrullah, that's the power of the majlis for Salli ala Nabi the majlises that get together to praise upon the prophetic reality that His name is Hamd, that Allah gave a secret that that name has Hamd in it, as soon as you Hamd you're activating everything. Do you think a shaitan can, can survive in that type of energy? Do you think his sicknesses and, and difficulties survive in that type of energy? As soon as you activate that hamd in your home, in your environment, wherever it is, there's a force that entering. When that force enters it begin to activate everything around, every atom around, every molecule around, every jinn and ins that around that are mu'min are activated by that zikr and that hamd. And dhikrullahi akbar. We pray that Allah give more and more understanding of the reality of dhikr, the majlises of dhikr, what type of energies and blessings it activates. In a world filled with difficulty, Allah gave us a tremendous weapon against difficulty. All we have to do is run to the circles of paradise and activate that reality. These awliyaullah teaching that there's planting seeds onto the soul. You know there's going to be a harvest time that when you plant these seeds of love, every nath and salawat that being recited they're coming loaded, loaded with realities that cannot be imagined and they're being thrown upon the soul, thrown upon the soul like medallions that give the soul its dress of honour in Allah's Divinely Presence. Allah said, come for Salatul Jummah in the best of your clothing. In dunya people go buy a nice suit and go for Jummah. But the best of clothing that means anything for Allah because remember Allah said, this dunya, your heavens and earth don't mean the weight of a mosquito wing for me. How insignificant Allah put everything into the wing of a mosquito is more, more complicated to make than all of these dunyas or more interesting to Allah than all the <laughs> heavens and the earth is a mosquito wing. Huh? So what is Allah talking about then to beautify what? So that what I gave you of eternity, your soul. Put all your medallions and your beatific dress upon your soul, make, make these Make these praising when we're saying in the Nad Zinnatul Arsh, some of these Urdu Wahhabis, they say, no, no, this bidda, this shirk, all these garbage words that they use, and then at the end they give Salatul Salams and say Zinnatul Arsh. The Prophet's name is the beauty that beautifies the throne. If you think the name and the durood the sharif of Sayyidina Muhammad beautifies the Divinely Throne, imagine what it does to our soul. That this is the beatific dress, as soon as we're making these salawat, making these praisings and this is the only thing that does that, not your salah, your salah does nothing of this reality. And pray to God that shaitan not in you, that he negate all your salah. It's not even comparable. These durus and these nat and these, sha, uh, these salawats make a beatific dress upon the soul, beatific lights that not from us, not anything that can be achieved from us that Allah dresses upon the soul. Amazing adornments of light and they grow and they grow and then as you have firmness in your path and continue and continue these lights are turning into trees in Divine the Presence. They're taking root because you keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, these trees begin to bear fruits. 
A day comes when all these haqqaiqs are, are blossoming within your soul. They're blossoming so much because the durood is so many and so much and so often that the fruits are flying out of your mouth, all its haqqaiqs. And everything they teach you'll find in a durood, you'll find it in a salawat. If you ever read the words, wow, wow that's what they were saying, oh, oh wow look, look what they're saying. Yeah because a lifetime of sending these seeds they're gonna grow and when they grow they're gonna make amazing fruits. And when they make these fruits you survive off of them, your family survives off of them and an entire community will be nourished for all of eternity off of them and these become the futuhat of awliya. The only thing that you can leave behind of any significance is the seeking of these realities and of these knowledges and if these knowledges blossom they become an eternal dress for you and a source of guidance for anyone who comes across that fruit. When La illallah wants to bring creation into existence it merely begins to send an energy towards the presence of Muhammadun Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam fi maqam qawbaka usaini aw adna What happens when the energy comes and begin to approach the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a bowl of energy and existence is brought into existence from Izzatullah from the will of Allah that power moving through La illallah as soon as it's about to get near Muhammadun Rasulullah a nukht is born, a little nukht. So what did we just sing from these awliya? Who is the point of origin and the source of all realities? Muhammadun Rasulullah That nukht is a pure energy that entire universes within each nukht, entire universes within that nukht and we described before a nukht like a dot. When Sayyidina Jibreel asked, Ya Rabbi I want to see, I want to see these nukhts of creation that you have. How many of these universes do you have? Sayyidina Jibreel was sent with all his wings, 1600 wings, full force, full power, fly over this ocean. And there were all these pearls, these nukhts were like little pearls. Says, as much as I flew forward, backward, side and left, I got exhausted and I reached no beginning and no end. Angel doesn't get exhausted but exhausted the energy that I'm going, going, it's not going to happen. As much as he goes like flying on an airplane, Allah expands the horizon. The Creator has no limit, you cannot put a limit on Allah As much as you take from Allah it has to be as if you took nothing. You cannot deplete anything from Allah you cannot take anything from Allah because you don't exist. That in its own is a different talk. <laughs> but this one, Sayyidina Jibreel is going, 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 come back. And then Allah allowed him to see a vision in which I saw a beautiful green peacock would sit on a pedestal and then would go down by order of Allah would take one of these pearls into his beak and crush. As soon as he crushed the pearl entire universes came into existence. He said, I saw these pearls with infinite in every direction. From La ilaha illallah is that Allah is moving, the will of Allah is moving, the what Allah is desiring is moving is about to come to the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad My amr and my irada is flowing in the heart of Sayyidina Yaseen merely from La ilaha begin to come and approaches Qawba Qawsaini wa Adna wa La ilaha illallah 
is on the border of Muhammadun Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Right at that point, <coughs> this energy, this creation has come into existence. Entire universes in that creation. That then becomes the nuqt and in its understanding and its reality and in its owners the ilm huruf chase this nuqt to get an understanding because it has of a magnificent owner and magnificent might. That nuqt goes under the ba and gives the ba its key to all realities and the ba contains the gate for all knowledges for it's the gate of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. All Qur'an in 30 juz, 30 juz and 7 verses of Fatiha, 7 verses of Fatiha is like collapsing a laser, 7 verses of Fatiha in Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, all of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem collapse to the ba. And ulul bab, there are awliya who are called ulul bab, they are the gatekeepers of these knowledges whom their master is Sayyidina Ali alayhi salam, ana madinat ilmu ali babaha, actually babahu, that he's the gatekeeper of the bab and the one who guards that reality with a lam alif. Why? Because we started with La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. The lam alif and the zulfiqar, he guards it with zulfiqar is a lam alif. And Imam Ali said, I am the nukht under the ba. This ba and this nukht, then in this ilm huruf, we're watching where it moves and gives an honor to that huruf. When it's under the ba, it becomes the opening of the bab and the realities of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. When the nuqt goes to the form of the ha and goes into the belly of the ha, it becomes the owner and makes that letter called jim. It goes into the belly and becomes jim. And jim was for Sayyidina Jibreel. These are not random names. The huruf has a secret in which gives that name its ability. Not you find your name and say, what's my number count and this is not important. Me and you were supposed to be out of the formula. This was about Allah's heavens and the realities of Sayyidina Muhammad When the power of this nuq comes to the jim, it's the power that gave Sayyidina Jibreel salam the ability to deliver the message on behalf of Allah to Sayyidina Muhammad from Sayyidina Muhammad out to all of creation. That Sayyidina Muhammad gives that permission and that power of that nuq into the reality of Sayyidina Jibreel to carry wahi and to carry the message of Allah throughout creation and deliver it to the Prophets of Allah Without that nuqt he wouldn't have had the ability to carry that power, the izza and the might. Oh. When it goes to the ha and goes on top, it becomes a ha and gives honour to this creation and makes it the khalifa because oh. he carries the owner of Allah's izza and might upon his creation. Is the Siddiqs. When the nuq comes onto them, become the dot for diya. So the Siddiqs that carry a diya, a light, shamsun diya wa qamarun nurun, they become in their heart a source of light and their face becomes the moon which is a reflection of light. The sun is a producer of light. The moon is a reflector of light. When it comes to the ta and it honors the ta, it becomes azim. Sayyidina Taha, when the nuq comes, 
and gives him azim. When it comes to the ayn and your vision and knowledges, when Allah grants the nukht, you become from ghayn and been given ghayb, knowledge of unseen. Means this izza and might that comes is a power and a, like a reality of Laylatul Qadr that at every moment there's a Qadr coming, at every moment anzalnahu, at every moment that Allah is revealing to His beloved who powers and universes but its source is always a power. Starts with the sound, this is called the sharat, there's manifestation, there's color, there's energy. The energy it starts from a sound, there's a command coming from Allah which is the sound. As soon as it's moving the qul, the command getting close to the Muhammadan reality that Allah wants it now to manifest becomes an energy. That energy began to produce beatific lights, those lights then become the manifestation of forms. This nuqh is a continuous flowing and zannahu that Allah we are continuously revealing this qudra and this power to the reality of Sayyidina Hu The reflection of the unseen Hu of Allah Reminder, Qul Hu, one speaking, one spoken to because Allah is saying Qul, Qul Hu, calling one by Hu. That reality of Prophet is dressing and dressing then his Muhammadan who, who achieve their hidayat and guidance. They carry the hay of Allah and they have hidayat and they are the hadis and guides of the nation. And Allah made these guides Ahlil Wadud. If somebody is guiding or claiming to guide, and they don't have love, it's a lie and the shaitan. And Sayyidina Mahdi coming to take them away. Hidayat and guidance is from muhabbat and love, they're ahlul wadud. Immense love for Allah immense love for Allah's creation, immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad and by means of this wow Allah has unlocked His kingdoms into their heart. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us and keep us in the company of Ahl Muhabbat and Ahl Wudud for they carry the keys of everything because Allah's rida and satisfaction is upon them inshaAllah. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.